welcome everybody. I'm glad to be out here today. We're in rural Lawrence County. I've got with me Larry Dean. He is a candidate for Sheriff of Lawrence County. First of all, Larry, I know you're busy uh, getting the hay out of the field and, and out politicking and everything. First of all, thank you for taking time to talk with me. Thank you for inviting me to do today. Well, you've been in law enforcement for, I guess, 25, 26 years, so uh, you've been planning for this day a long time, haven't you? Well, yes, sir. Uh, even when I was 16 years old, I'd always wanted to be the sheriff of the county. And as of, for, for 25 years of, of, with DNR, I realized in three years with Department of Corrections, I realized that I gained a lot of experience. And I worked with multiple sheriffs and different agencies, and it's helped me to bring me to this point where I'm at today. I bet you're having a lot of fun getting out because you're a people person, just talking with you and us talking off camera. You're definitely a people person. You love people. Uh, so it's probably a lot of fun out politicking. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> and it's I'm, it's kind of like investigation. I'm, I'm learning a lot. I'm finding out what the people want in the sheriff of Lawrence County. Well, we're quite a few months away from uh, the election, but it takes a lot of work. Uh, as you know, working with DNR, Lawrence County is a very large county, isn't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> it's about, I take it's about 63 miles across in one area. Mm -hmm. So it takes a deputy a long time to respond in some cases. What do you see the biggest need in local law enforcement is? Well, I think right now we need to bring back, we need to get the respect back of the public. The whole mindset of America is anti-law enforcement, and I don't understand that. Without laws, we can't function in this country. But if we can get the public... To, for the deputies to respect the public and they can gain their respect, we can have an efficient department. Yeah, and it is all across the country, not just Lawrence County, but we're just in that mode. People don't respect themselves anymore, much less respect in law enforcement. That's right. And if I can, and me, if I can bring my core values back to the 52 deputies and the jailers, well, there's actually 110 employees at Lawrence County Sheriff's Department. You got to evaluate every situation that you come up on. In other words, you got to go back to plain old common sense law enforcement, mm -hmm. and you need to go back to work, just plain work. In other words, when we have something to happen, we want to form a task force. Mm -hmm. Let's just do our jobs. Let's get deputies that need this train. Let's train a deputy instead of just doing road patrol or, or work that he can do it all. He can do investigations. He can do uh, child abuse cases. In other words, just let's just start training our people. In other words, we send them to a school. 13 weeks and then we basically are turning them loose we need to put some experienced people out there with these guys and actually let's just train them training is an ongoing great leaders are not born they're developed you're absolutely right training is so important Larry and uh, why do you feel like we need to have that continuous training well well just just technology for one thing but just like I back in my previous law enforcement training with DNR one time uh, we, one of the commissioners walked up to me and asked me what did I want it, what did I need and back then I said well sir I've got a four-wheeler I've got a boat I got a jet ski and I said you need to give us some more training in the areas that we're working in that was when the meth labs were first becoming in the area mm -hmm. so next thing you know we got a 40-hour meth lab course. well it may not have been 40 hours but it was right. we was training to look well for them for meth labs and stuff mm -hmm. so it's, it's total change in law enforcement. It's total change in our society now. And we got, you got 52 deputies out there, and everybody has got a way of doing it. Mm -hmm. But as long as you comply with the law, if you can bring all those resources in and pass that information on to the other deputies, mm -hmm. you can have the, one of the most efficient law enforcement agencies in this state by just using the resources that you have, by using that, but bring it in and training and communicate, gathering of information and passing of information on. And if we'll do that, and we, we got some men here in this county that's, that's got great training. Mm -hmm. We can actually, without a cost to our uh, office, instead of having to run for Scythe, we can bring training officers in here and let them tr have our in-service training every month at the mm -hmm. Sheriff's Department or every week, just whatever's necessary. Mm -hmm. Law enforcement, I've always said, they work so hard, but the pay is not that desirable. Where do you stand on paying law enforcement? Well, we need to get at least our deputies up to the parity that the city of P Dublin policemen are. And my understanding is, right now, if you hire on the city of Dublin and Lawrence County Sheriff's Department, you're basically starting at the same salary. But within five years, a city policeman is making 20% uh, more than a, a deputy sheriff is. Well, all we're doing is training our officers to move on to other agencies. we got to at least have parity with the city of Dublin to keep good, informed officers because, you know, they got to make a living. Most law enforcement... 
you got to love law enforcement because you didn't get into it for the money to start with. Mm -hmm. So you got to really want to be in law enforcement. And 90% of everybody working in law enforcement is there because they care about their community. Yeah. And, and that's what, and that's what I want to bring. If I can get all 52 or all 110 employees thinking on the same mindset mm -hmm. that I'm thinking about, we can make Lawrence County a safer and better place. Mm -hmm. What about uh, respect? Let's go back to that. Uh, so many people you hear, we, we, we love law enforcement until we have an uh, encounter with law enforcement. Right, right. But uh, stopping citizens on the road and, and handling deals, uh, domestic disputes, let's talk about that, because that, you've, you've got plenty of experience in that. Right. How do you feel like we should be handling our citizens? Well, attitude is half of law enforcement. If you pull up on somebody and you get out of the car with an attitude, if you got up that morning and you got a bad attitude when you get in your car, when you pull up to that citizen out there, he can perceive that attitude. Mm -hmm. And you have just created yourself a problem. And just like I've told other people, if, if a drunk makes you mad by cussing you, you're in the wrong business. Mm -hmm. That's a natural response. Let that man set the tone. You just escalate to the level that you need to to control the situation. Treat everybody firm and fair. And it, I just believe I can bring that back through my people skills as the sheriff of this county. I believe I can bring back that to Lawrence County. At what point did you, I know you thought about this a lot, but at what point did you say, I want to run for sheriff of Lawrence County? After about three months of prayer. Mm -hmm. In other words, I, and then I began to get out and just investigate. I've seen the morale of our department, the men wasn't happy. And I said, you know, I've dealt with that with DNR. Our agency basically had, the, the work section I was in had 40 people in it. Some of you better working people was get, not getting any of the credit. Mm -hmm. And I believe I can restore that back to the, the officers. In other words, I want to promote within the department. Mm -hmm. In other words, uh, I'm going to go, with, if, I, if I become sheriff of Lawrence County, like I say, we got 52 deputies out there with 30, some of them 25 and 30 years of experience. I'm going to promote them to the levels of higher level people that be accountable to me and I'm expecting them to hold all their officers accountable. Mm -hmm. But I would just want to give, and you got to give respect back to the deputies too. In other words, they, they've got to earn the respect to the public, but if they can ever gain that respect to the public, we can have a safe community because that means you've got all these people pooling all this information in and bringing it back to the department by communication. Mm -hmm. And that's what I plan to do as the next sheriff of Lawrence County. Speaking of communication, you have to work with the county commissioners. Yes, sir. What do you think about that? That's the hand that feeds you. Mm -hmm. You need to. You need, you got to get a reluctant relationship with them. In other words, if oh, uh, they gonna have ideas and you gonna have ideas. Would you gonna have to just sit down and, and let's compromise something that our Congress in this in America don't do anymore? Mm -hmm. In other words, if we can, I'm gonna just have to sit down with commissioners and bring my ideas to them, show them where it can be cost effective. And if I can get that across to them and they can see they're going to have a safer community, first of all, if I can bring it, make our county safer, do away with some of this liability, America's in a sue mood. Mm -hmm. mode. So we need to, in other words, I need to, uh, I just got to have a good, close working relationship with the commissioners. Mm -hmm. And I'll have to convince them that, that some of the things that I need. I believe that I can take the resources that's at the Lawrence County Sheriff's Department now and work it efficiently by putting people back to work mm -hmm. and what I mean by working there in law enforcement a man can get up and make eight hours or he can get up and, and, and work eight hours mm -hmm. he can be seen and not be working mm -hmm. and I, I just believe that we have good people out there but you got to hold them accountable and that's what I want to do as your next sheriff of Lawrence County so work ethic is very important very important Okay, what about, we we'll go back to our big county. We've got other municipalities. You've got a chief of police in Dublin. Uh, you got Chief Lukey over in East Dublin. What about your working relationship there? Well, I've actually, that's the first thing I did when I began to seek office or thinking about running for poly, sheriff of Lawrence County. I went to the different mayors and chiefs and told them, hey, I, I'm going to be seeking the office of sheriff of Lawrence County. You know my reputation as a game warden. I'm willing to work with you. I know how to work with people. I know how to deal with people. 
and I, I you know, I, I, I'm gonna give them respect that they're due. I, I've actually, I think I've, I may have one or two mayors in these little communities that I hadn't talked to, but I've tried to see most everybody and, and don't wanna try to see everybody in the community to tell them that I'll be a town of sheriff that'll listen to your problems, I'll act on your problems, and if I can give you an answer, I'll give you an answer. If I can't, I'll find you an answer. And that's that's the kind of man that I am. Putting a lot of miles on your truck, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I told you off camera a while ago, I saw, and I'm seeing your signs pop up all over town and on people's vehicles, but I come up at the red light a while ago, and a gentleman, we was hollering out the window to each other. He was out politicking for you, had a sign on the truck. But what do you say to people that are already supporting you, and what do you say to people that you want to support you? Well, I appreciate the, the people that are supporting me, but basically, I was paid some good compliments by some friends. They said, Larry, we want you to be a sheriff like you was a game warden. Mm -hmm. Remain true to your core beliefs. Be fair, true, and professional. And if you'll remain that as our sheriff, you'll make us a good sheriff. And that's what I intend to do. In other words, if somebody don't know me, I'd like to, I'm like i trying to do all the meet and greets I can. I'm trying to go to every civic function that I can in this county because I want the people to know me as a person mm -hmm. because I'll remain true to my core beliefs. Okay, you out knocking on a lot of doors, Larry. What are you hearing from people in the community? Well, I've had some people tell me if they call the 911 and they say, and they ask 911 says, is this an emergency? They say, no. They say, well, I need, I need to speak to a deputy. Well, you like to you love to get a voicemail. Mm -hmm. Well, if somebody's got something really they need to tell a deputy sheriff, they're not going to leave it on a voicemail. But first of all, if they've noticed something in their community, suspicious activities, they want to talk to an individual that they have respect and trust for, and, and a deputy that they've got confidence in, that, that he won't uh, let them know where the information come from. And that's that's the kind of things that I'm hearing in several locations, in other words. And that'll be one of the first things I change it. we got a great 911 system, but we can make some improvements on it. And that all that comes from the top, the leadership. You've got to get in there and work with these different agencies and say, hey, this is what's happening. I want my people to be able to talk to a deputy within minutes. Mm -hmm. And if, because if you lose that information, it's gone. Mm -hmm. And you need all this information. That's, that's what I'm getting back to. We got to have all 52 deputies and all the, all the other employees working for the same common values. Have a safe Lawrence County. Yeah. And that's what I plan to do. What about our schools? We have resource officers in the school. Will you continue that program? And what do you think the Sheriff Department's role is as far as educating our kids? Well, we definitely got to have resource officers because we, like I say, we get in a culture where if somebody's allowed to grab a gun and go out to the school and start shooting, we definitely need resource officers there. I've even thought about having uh, some teachers maybe come down there and get certified with, with firearms and maybe even possibly having those on them. Now, I know there's some teachers that they don't want to tote a gun or different that and other, but I would like to know in this rural area that we live in, if, you, if there was a man out there shooting up killing people and I had a, a coach or a teacher in there that, that knew how to handle a firearm properly mm -hmm. I'd rather him go out there and take that man out than, than them kill a half a dozen students before, before, before anybody could get there or even the, the resource officers on the other end of the building you know just I mean which that's all stuff that's got to be looked into I think there's actually some studies out there now about arming the police mm -hmm. the teachers and all but that's just stuff that's got to be looked into but we we got to have innovative ideas and we got to change I mean we got to keep our students safe, and I also think we we got, we need to get back out there and tell the we got to get more drug programs into the schools. Mm -hmm. Let the people get aware of it that hey, the policeman is not the bad guy, the deputy's not the bad guy. We're your friend. We're here to protect you and serve you, mm -hmm. and build up that confidence in those students because just a positive image may make the difference in one student's life of becoming a drug dealer or getting in trouble or whatever the rest of his life. Do we have enough law enforcement officers on the road at any given time? I'm told we only have approximately four officers on patrol at any given time. So I'm going to look into ways of maybe making our deputies more cross-trained and serving warrants and whatever. In other words, when a call comes in, that's the priority. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you're out you got a warrant division and they're out serving warrants and you got a call comes in and, and you're in a certain part of the county, I want that warrant officer to be able to go respond to that call and where they can keep the citizens of this county safe. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of stuff, logistics, that you got to look into once you get into office. I mean, but. Drugs is destroying our country. 
drugs are bad here. What what do you think uh, when it comes to drugs? You mentioned meth a while ago, and you you you've been trained at this. But what are we going to do about stopping the flow of drugs, and especially I-16? What would you do on Interstate 16? I think we need to get a, a drug interdiction team back out there on I-16. We got a county below us here and a county above us here destroying in enough revenue. I think we need to get a drug team, dogs back, and go out there when people are speeding and start checking these cars and, and stop this drug, drug flow coming up and down I-16 because it's there. I mean, it's obvious it's there because you got counties, Trutland County and Tweeds County above us here are grabbing a lot of revenue off an interstate. But now my first concern is, is for the safety and protection of the people that live in this county. I know we all know that revenue is a, is a must. But my concern is for the safety of the kids and the people that live here in the community. And like I say, the same criminal element that's dealing drugs is the one that's stealing your four-wheelers, your backpacks, in other words, your lawnmowers, those people. And I want the deputies, when they go out and investigate, to have the experience and the training to say, okay, let's follow up on this lead. This same man that stole this stuff may be using this money to buy drugs with. So let's go back to common sense law enforcement. Investigate the crime that you've given. You don't have to form a task force to do everything. Just do your job. Be concerned about it. Be concerned about the citizens. Gain the respect of those people. And I, we can make it work. I, I, and with the support of the deputies and the citizens of this county, we can have the safest county. Lawrence County, we're, we're short of industry, but if we can get a safe community and get a good school system, we got a good school system, and keep it, we can bring industry to this county. And that's my vision for the sheriff, to have a safe community, good school system, where we can bring industry back and put these people back to work. A man without a job got to do something. And if we can, we can do that by having a safe community, we can get industry in Lawrence County. You're knocking on a lot of doors, you're speaking to everybody you can, but you cannot knock on every door in Lawrence County. Let's talk to the voters sitting there on the couch right now that's watching you and don't know who they're going to vote for. I want you to talk to that voter right now and tell them why they should vote for Larry Dean for sheriff. I'm Larry Dean and I'm seeking the office of sheriff for Lawrence County. I know there's approximately 26,000 registered voters in this county and my little short time of campaigning, I've been out and about the most people I've been able to see in a day's time is about 50 and really sit down and truly get them to know me as a person. I want to make this the safest, most effective, efficient sheriff department that I can. I'll be, stay true to my core values, trust, professionalism, and I'll make you a good sheriff. I can't do this without your support. I want to make a difference. I want to be a sheriff of Lawrence County to make changes where the people of this county will respect the law enforcement, they respect the sheriff, and I want the officers to gain respect to the public. That's half of law enforcement. If they have respect for themselves and, and the people have respect for them, we can make this a safe community. We can turn this drug problem around. We can't do away with it. We live in a drug culture, just like we couldn't do away with the moonshine whiskey in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. But we live in a drug culture. If we can get 52 deputies and the rest of the employees thinking with the same mindset that I do, we can make a change in Lawrence County. I can make this a, a safe community where we can bring in industry and people to come here to work and we can have a good school system and a safe community. I'm asking for your support of Lawrence County. I'm a true country boy. I'll remain true to my core values, and just like I was as a game warden. In other words, I'll be a sheriff that you can talk to. I'll be a sheriff that'll get you an answer, and I'll have deputies that you'll be able to talk to. You'll want to talk to one of my deputies. Instead of having, wanting to avoid my deputies, you'll want to talk to my deputies because you'll want to be able to give them information that can make this a safer community. I'm asking for your support for the Sheriff of Lawrence County in 2016. I need your support. I want to make a safe community for the citizens of Lawrence County. Thank you. Larry, in talking to you off camera, I know your faith is very important to you. Talk to me about that. Well, my wife and I, we serve at Best Aid of Baptist Church. And like I say, I'm a granddaddy now. And I, got, I have seven grandkids. And I want to leave a legacy if I'm sure if that I was a Christian sheriff. And, and all law enforcement goes back to the peacemaker. And I don't know the exact scripture, but... Uh, 
some of the first policemen were peacemakers. God, there's no institution out here that God hadn't ordained it that he allows them to be in control. Now, that's my belief. And I just want to have a legacy of being a Christian sheriff. Larry, I appreciate you talking to me today, taking time to talk to me. I know you're busy in the field, busy politicking, but I really appreciate you talking to me. Thank you. you. And maybe we'll get some sunshine. I got some <laughs> hay to get up. Okay. But then I can be a full-time candidate for sheriff. If I can get this hay work done, I can be, I can be on the road and try to see these 26,000 voters that I'd like to see personally for you to get to know me as your sheriff of Lawrence County. Mm -hmm.